All right. Um, <clears throat> of any people fear to see a man in the bedding come on. Oh no, no. Nidia, no. I'm here at the airport. Um, Honorable David Apesera. 2020 elections, no, no, Anna Olidi, the People's National Convention. The other day, me nini di nkomo mani, Mr. Ansade, no, that's a friend, no, the leader of the PNC. And also, some constitution, no, the chairman says, say, until, say, say, moto abay you, be say flag bearer, until, say, be another flag bearer, no. Um, or, or, no, the leader of the party. I asked him this question on purpose, because, nan say, only general secretary, uh, uh, issues be no near the other. So, Obertina General Secretary Nika said, Or no, your PNC, ni and also on your party, ni penny, no near the other. So, I wanted to be very sure, said, me addressing what, said, the big one designation. I was a medium man on a sap, pepper, and he made me understand, said, um, party no constitution, so, so comfortably with me, a friend, said, he's the leader of the People's National. Convention. If a deep party, you know, in common in your mobile noir, a cosso, a woman, and say, Where is my two? Where is my two? Where is my two? two? No, near yeah, daddy. Tell her that we are going on, say, a third force and say, a cosso, a war, smaller political parties no more. And I say, political parties normally representation of parliament. Yeah, they are. The band on bits me a general monai swan or maca say, Omoni and Pippini and DC, Eddie Befeso. In Johanne, you have a share, the Omuso, so because I'm a former member of parliament, uh, which means that politics is his experience. In Tanzania, my way, can you answer a drew baby a dream? The experience of no crime bear no fast with the Abba Buama or Matimia solve our problem so that the PNC beats me. I had the SSS. Eh, honorable officer, I'm more quabber. Um, a young cup of one and catchy. So how is the PNC doing? Well, um, I may say, well, we have some difficulties, but we are fine. Mm. Yeah. What, what's 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 made it very what's made it difficult to mm. um, handle these difficulties? I mean. Just what? as I introduced, I, I said earlier, you are a very experienced politician. So some mm -hmm. of these things should be, shouldn't be difficult for you to handle. I, I, it looks like it, it's, it's been, you know, too difficult for you to, to handle some of these things. As a leader of the party. Yes. Um, you see, um, when we took over, the party had already been fractured. We had a chairman's that was then Bernard Mona's play, uh, faction, and we had Dr. Mahama's faction. So it was difficult for them to come together to have a neck meeting and to decide as to when to have the National Delegates Congress. And what it took myself and Honorable Moses Daniba a lot of work to be able to get them to come together. And finally, we had our um, National uh, Delegate Congress on the 30th of September 2020, just barely two months to election. And so when we came in, we thought that at least the issue of factionalism had been resolved because we were open-handed, accommodating everyone, and I, I made sure this is how I approach issues. And uh, to me, I don't have prejudices. I don't always want to have prejudices. I believe that you work with people and then they get to know, you get to know each other. You try to move ahead together. But the moment we started, then this whole thing um, about Janet moving and trying to be softly obstructing, subverting our attempts, even to file the people who were to bring us their uh, distant signatories, it was a problem. Later on, we realized that you had a hand in that. We were to launch our manifesto, people who were to come, the regional chairman that were, had been with Dr. Mahama, none of them stepped foot at the place. Later on, I was told she told them not to come. Uh, she went to Northern Region, called our parliamentary candidates, 
said they shouldn't, they should denounce me on air. And it continued. But that notwithstanding, for me, you see, I didn't, I, until I see, I don't believe that the person is actually doing that. Then after the election, I wanted us to have a neck meeting immediately. I sent her a text in December, close to the end of the year. Let's hold it in uh, January. She says it's, 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 it's an illegality for me to ask her to call a neck. I left quiet. I kept quiet. She took about a month. Finally, it was the end of February. She called the neck. We went to neck. We met. We composed committees. Then we continued to work. Then all of a sudden, it was just an unruly behavior. No respect for anybody. And what happened is that when we came in, we had no money in the coffers. There was no uh, record of money having been lodged there in the past. But I said, no, whatever we raise, we must put it in the party account. And I don't just want to be sitting down and spending. We come, we sit down in the party office in my office, and everybody brings a program. And then we see how we disperse money according to the program so that we move forward. And that's what we did. She said we should file nine candidates. And I, I said, no. If you file nine candidates and you go and the press ask you, are you going to win? You say, yes. How many parliamentary candidates? Nine. Then you'll be ridiculing yourself. So I said, no. Let's this was before, before 2020 elections. <clears throat> so this is how we proceeded. Now, whatever money we got, the filing fees took about 500000 Whatever was left, we made sure everybody... But did she assign any reasons uh, to why she wanted you to file only nine candidates? No reason. The, but was she perhaps maybe trying to... Um, she was thinking of, you know, funds. Maybe she thought that you, you were, the wherewithal wasn't there for you to be able to file candidates in all 275 constituencies. No, yeah, we couldn't have that because mm -hmm. we didn't actually have the money to file mm -hmm. that number. So but maybe it, she it, was it, trying it, to help yeah. you save money. No, but why would you save money? You, you want to bring your, build your party up. And if you decide to file, if, if we had filed like that, what were we going to do with the money? We were going to campaign. And if you have more people in the field that you give small, small, small to them and they are working, it's better than when you have nine people. Because we came in just two months. I couldn't go anywhere. You, 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 when you said um, when you came in, you realized that some people had some prejudices. Um, and you also said later, later on that um, you don't you know, take whatever they tell you hook, line, and sink her until yes. you meet the person yes. uh, until they happen. Uh, from hindsight, do you think it was a good strategy? Because it looks like that's what has given rise to what we are discussing today. Well, maybe you should have managed the prejudices before, as a leader, before um, it, it degenerated into what we are talking about now. You, you see, um, the difficulty here is that I could not know who was thinking in what way in his mind. You could, you could have judged by their, see, by, by their behaviors. Yeah, but... And then, and then try to you know, find out what was wrong because you, you had a vision, you had a yes. bigger picture. Yes. And the thing is that you call them to a meeting, they don't come. Like we are launching a manifesto, they don't come. Except that somebody then came and was threatened with this dismissal by Janet. And that person came and told me. I didn't know that that was the reason why they didn't come. When I asked them, they said, no, 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 no. I asked my regional chairman, uh, upper East regional chairman. He said, no, no, nobody told him anything. But why then didn't you come? Because I have been very, we had been 
we, we started with the party. You were a Zongo chairman when I was a constituency candidate. And we worked up, and you become a regional chairman. In the last election, I supported him very strongly to still maintain that position. So why wouldn't you come? But, you see, I hardly have... Uh, did, did anything happen during your, your Congress? The, the, um, the one that brought you out as the candidate of the PND, uh, PNC. Did anything happen? Was he supporting a different candidate against you? Or, you know... That I'm, I'm asking this because of what you described as subtle obstructions. Yes, yeah, subtle obstructions. Mm -hmm. Because, look, we wanted signatures. And this is West North. Uh, Janet had gone to put unilaterally put the executives there. The executives keep, kept telling us, oh, we, we've sent the, the signatories, go to the new plan. We kept going to the new plan till over a week. And we realized that we had to send the Western Regional Chairman to the place to be able to get the signature. Later on, we got the whispers that she had instigated the delay unnecessarily. So these are quite subtle. You will not be able, um, as I told you, she was in uh, Northern Region, called all the parliamentary candidates there, said, denounce David Apaceres' candidature. That was in December. So after it had been voted for. After it had been voted for. I had not quarreled with her. I had not done anything to warrant that. And how could you tell the parliamentary candidates? And I was the first to support them the way I have, I did. But, but I'm surprised you did not, you know, try to find out what was wrong because you knew it was going to, to be a worry. In fact, um, I mean, because you, you see, when, when this issue about uh, calling people to denounce my candidature in the Northern region in December, you know, the people didn't do it. I had no time to sit down to think about petty things because I had to make sure that within two months... And this was your general secretary? Yes. A general secretary who was uh, going to go uh, uh, to the contest with? Yes. But this is the thing. I mean, it was so difficult for me to have time to really go into this because... I had to make sure within two months. What, what's what? Did, did she support any candidate against you during the Yeah, Congress? she supported uh, one candidate against me, and she went around everywhere with that candidate and was campaigning. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I won, mm -hmm. and that candidate never came near me. There were, were three. Mm -hmm. The other two combining their votes could not come near me. So. I mean, I took it for granted that, yes, I had the rank and file behind me and I was going to do my best so that the party is not seen as the, the least. So I made sure money was put in the party account. I made sure every parliamentary candidate was given something to start with. So the first little money we raised or small money we raised, every candidate got from 2000 up to 50000 uh, because we're looking at those who, were, who had the potential. And then I made sure every candidate was given 2,000 posters, 200 uh, T-shirts. And I made sure my T-shirts were very, at least 2,000 to a region, so that my face would be there everywhere. And so we did that. After that, the last moment, I made sure Whatever money we got, every candidate got from 5,000 to 60,000. And then we, the, we ourselves moved into the field and went as far as we could. We used to campaign and come back late in the morning, around dawn in the morning. And by 11, we are on, in the field. But that's I mean, that's, just that's not the picture she paints. She, yeah, yeah. she calls you a dictator and um, we are also aware of... Yes. Um, this matter, is it still in court? I'm talking about the embezzlement issue. Uh, he, yes. he yeah. accused you of and then, embezzling some money. Yes, and all it that. says 1.7 1, 1. million. 1.7 million. And, and yes, and just like I was saying, 
If you have 1.7 million, you fill 39 candidates. They take 390,000. You yourself, you filed. That's 100,000. 390,000 plus 100,000. That comes to 490,000. Those people who were filling the forms and doing all that <coughs> takes the 10,000. So mm -hmm. 500,000 already gone. You give every candidate 2,000 uh, cities, uh, 2,000, uh, and finally it came to 7,000, mm. up to 120,000 for each. Where did that money come from? Uh, my, I was there. My running mate, we rented a car for him. My chairman, we rented a car for him. And then we rented a pickup for a youth organizer. And we moved into the field. We slept in hotels. We went from place to place. We visited chiefs. We organized rallies. Where did that money come from? Was there a 1.7 million lodged into any account? It came by trickles. It wasn't like a lump sum just put there. So the 1.7 is an expenses. Yes. The 1.7... We raised that's this. what you're trying to justify right now. That's yeah. what I'm justifying right now. Mm. And this is the money we raised. This is the money we put in front. This is the money we spent, and that's how we spent it. Why was she in all this <laughs> during your campaign? I mean, did, yeah, she, she, used ever, to, did she ever she, mount a, uh, no, a campaign? No, she didn't mount. She was, she was holding forth in the office. Uh, we were in the field. It was when and it was... was, she, was she, being reported to? Was she getting uh, information, uh, I mean, reports you as know, to what you were doing in the field? Any money, any expenditure, we sat in my office and agreed to it. Everybody was in the office. It, it, I, didn't, I didn't... Everybody includes Includes Janet. Janet. Except that she's not in and her deputy steps in for her. But even if she's there in... there are records that she agreed. I she mean, agreed. The, I mean, that you can have oh. that. We can have that on record. You yeah. have, you have Look, them on record. She agreed because mm -hmm. she never raised an objection to any expenditure. And at the last moment, she herself said she wanted to go to her, her town and supervise the election. She needed uh, 11,000 was given to her. That was her budget, a return ticket. And she traveled all the way to her place to also supervise. And that she, Two was agreed on. That two was agreed on. You, she, you agreed yeah, to give him. Yeah, she to told. Give her she said, "This is how much you wanted." And we gave who, it. who was a signatory to? I mean, who is the signatory to the, the party's account? I am the uh, principal signatory, uh, the chairman, the treasurer, and she. Can you take money from the account without resorting to any of these? No, no, no. You you, you have to have signatures. three signatures. Three signatures. Sign three signatures. So Does if that I include that of Janet? If she is there, she, her signature can replace the chairman or the uh, otherwise. But most of the time, we were always in the office. She was not always in the office. So when we sit down and do this thing, we, we sign the check. But did you, did you always have to agree on what to use the money for before you, yes. you would go and withdraw? Yes, it is a party program. Like, okay... We are giving 5,000 to candidates. It's a part of the program. Nobody says no to it. And this money, we raised it because we wanted to campaign. And I wanted, I was eager to be effective enough that even though two months we, we started, we had only two months to campaign, I was making sure that we don't fall the least in the elections. The, the, um I mean, how, how did you raise that money? The one, I mean, how well, did you... um, from well wishes and then sympathizers and friends and so on. From other political parties, the two, because I hear, you know, um, sometimes the two political parties want to wield influence in the, 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 I mean, the relatively smaller political parties. And so sometimes yeah. you get support, some bits of support from them. Well, I mean, they are also friends. You so you, you got something they are, from they are, they are also some friends, friends yes, in with NDC the, and in MPP. Certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, if they offer us support, we would like They it. did. Did they yes. offer you support? Yes, yes. In, and you so got some support from there? Yes. Mm. And um, mm. um, so how do you 
um, intent. Because Janet keeps saying that you embezzled the money. And, um, she keeps well, saying, in fact, you, I, you, you mismanaged, you misappropriated. Yes. And all that. Mis that. Mismanagement here means mm. taking money, maybe uh, meant um, for something. Meant for something, and you are uh, maybe diverting it to cover some other thing. Mm -hmm. That is mismanagement, diversion, and so on. But we never did that. We solicited funding for campaign. We used it purely for campaign. But, but so did you really involve her? Oh, that's what I'm saying. That anything we decided, it was decided in my office. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we had that. And you can, you can ask. It was the, the first time. It's the first time we had campaign time, people meeting in the office, deciding on what they are going to do, deciding on the funding, how much this was going when? to be spent. That was just the two months I was a candidate. The two months before the election. Because we, we came, we uh, had... During the meeting, the, the Janet throw in some contributions. You see, this is a long time. I cannot... You cannot, I mean... I cannot, but, she, I wanted to... I just wanted to she find never, out. I just want to find she out. Never she was very any, involved yes, in so, the discussions you yes, had. Yes, any time we had discussions... And, yeah, she was involved. She, she, I never had to uh, um, object to anything. Because that would have been what may be registered in my mind. But if, if there are no objections and then you go ahead, uh, this is simple. So everybody was involved. She says you are an illegal member of the party. You are not a legal I'm not a legal member, member of the party. You are not because the other day when we were holding a press conference, she was on this show. She was sitting right where you are sitting. And I asked her if we could be part of the. I mean, I just showed her the, yes. the artwork and told her that there's going to be a press conference. Said, These entities are not from the party. They are illegal members of the party. And that anybody who sets foot there will be sued. That's, these were, were, were her words. Then why, why is she not suing? Now, you know... And, and she, she thinks we are entertaining you. You are not a true <laughs> member of the party. You are an illegal... Uh, uh, member of what the party. What is a true member of the party? Here? You maybe you don't have what it takes. You uh, are you are you in good standing? Do you have a party card now? Have I you? I joined the party nineteen ninety two day one. I was very young, and I joined the party. And I was a candidate in Bolga constituency. By then, it was Bolga constituency, and we won hands down. I would have come to parliament in 1992, but when the opposition decided they were going to boycott, so I had to leave it. And I was a candidate in 1996 for the party. In Bolga, 2000, I won the election. 2004, I won the election. And I, I, after I left, nobody <coughs> has been able to win that seat again for the party. After you left? After I, 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 I lost this, the election okay. in 2020. I mean, 208. Nobody has won. Do you taken. align with any of these two big political parties, the NDC and NPP? Well, I don't have any serious alignment, except that when we came to parliament, that was, uh, we, that was uh, President Kufour's time, and uh, we were all in opposition against the NDC. So when we came, certainly we were with the uh, majority in parliament, and we worked with the majority. And Honorable Moses Daniba was part of me, and he was given a ministerial appointment. You see, he was a deputy minister. So certainly, that is where we, we were with. And that is how it is. But um, that is not to say that we are aligned to MPP or aligned to another group. We are a political party, and we want to maintain a kind of a neutral or central role where we can, we can influence policies to the uh, interest of Ghana. Mm. Um, when was the last time you went to the party headquarters, national headquarters? Well, when the, we had suspended Janet, we had petitioned the, the, the disciplinary Talking committee. Talking about Janet's suspension, um, how did you form the, the committee? 
How did you constitute the committee that handed down the suspension to her? Well, what happened was that our first NEC meeting, 2021, February 27th, we formed committees. We composed disciplinary committee, uh, constitutional legal committee, a uh, council of elders, uh, all this, and it was accepted there and then as members of those committees. They were not like proposals that somebody is saying, uh, we went to NEC and proposed names for who to approve of those names. You compose names. You go to present them at the NEC. NEC is free to add or subtract. Then we went to NEC. NEC added. She sat there and nominated Inu Sabao, Bono East chairman, and it was seconded. He was added. Somebody nominated Corpse Tongo, the chairman for Ashanti, nominated Corpse Tongo, somebody seconded. It was added. So they became the, the committees. We didn't need to go to Kong, uh, NEC again to approve what NEC had put in place. So they were there. And so when we petitioned, we petitioned the disciplinary committee. The disciplinary committee came to uh, this thing. She said, oh, uh, now that they are coming and she's the uh, subject of this thing, she doesn't know whether Kopstongo contested uh, General, uh, General Secretary Street to Kopstongo may not be uh, at this thing. She didn't even talk about Kopstongo first. She started talking about others. Now, but that notwithstanding, the disciplinary committee was put in place. They recommended she should be dismissed. We call a NEC uh, standing committee meeting, and then we met, and it was a unanimous decision. Nobody dissented. A unanimous decision. So is she, is, she, is she part of the party now? She's part of the party, but she's not the general secretary. She's suspended. She's she on suspension. She's also suspended. They're yeah, also but, but she has party. no authority to suspend me. And what they met in Kumasi, it was a meeting of some regional chairman, plus Janet. And they cannot compose. That is not how we organize a neck. A neck must be organized with the, 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 um, um, with the national chairman chairing that, or vice chairing that, or the national chairman has to write to authorize the regional chairman to chair that. Would this does ever So what settle? they held in Kumasi was not neck. <coughs> would, would this uh, dust ever settle? It will mm. settle, but I think that the court may be the right place to settle it. And so we have gone to court. We've gone to court seeking a declaration to the effect that they are on suspension and they cannot be there. That she's operating from the party headquarters. Yes, you the police. The You've police been see, refused entry. They refused. The police took the keys from us and handed them over to her. That is the irony of the situation in Ghana. That you are elected a flag bearer of the party by a national delegates conference. The constitution says after the elections you are the, the you are the leader of the party. I am there with my national chairman. A group of people go to Kumasi and say that they have suspended us, and that is do, do, do you suspect that someone seen hand is manipulating something? Some, I should I should think so because because why would police come and take the keys Any suspicion, from us? Maybe you suspect she she's got some backing from some powerful people. Either that or she has her own influence amongst the police. I don't know. Because you, the police, you cannot take keys from me. You go and hand the keys over to somebody who has been put there by a handful of regional officers. So, so has the, the matter in court been heard yet? Well, the first issue was that they came and said, no, if we are dis dis um, aggrieved, if we are aggrieved, we should go back to the internal mechanisms. And that was what we did. We came back, we called the disciplinary committee again. We gave them our petition. Uh, they sat on the petition. They recommended that um, the, the, what was done in Kumasi was null and void. Mm -hmm. uh, and they asked that we suspend some people, key people, who were so instrumental in such a thing and uh, deviant behavior and you know so we suspended them so the time they went to sit there 
on the 12th and they were saying they were already on suspension. Honorable David Apesera, thank you for coming. Uh, we we might have some other time to talk about this again. I'm um, fancy her. And I'm Rafa Semgaka. PNC4 has a match. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one.